<laughs> My special guest, I never thought I'd say it again, let's see, <laughs> is, uh, is an author of great distinction, I'm talking nearly. And we're here to, with this booklet in hand to tell you, the booksellers, how important it is to get people to read books. But tell me, you know, I, I find it strange, in fact, that, that we should actually be sitting here trying to plug the notion of people reading books, because I'm sure that you, like me, reading books is second nature, isn't it? Oh, yes, and uh, I can't imagine how my ancestors got on uh, without books to read. They did for thousands of years, yes. but, but poor them. Yes. I think the people who don't read books uh, probably have a misconception that the experience of the movies and the experience of TV, both of which I love, mm. Uh, is the same as reading a book, and it's simply not. It's not, because I mean, there's an entire business of choosing a book, isn't it? That's one of the things about the smell of books, the tactile thing of books. Before you open it, it's, it's the part of the pleasure of reading, I think. The glue and the paper. <laughs> and then uh, the love that's gone into the book. Every author who writes a book thinks that the world needs his book. <laughs> and you can sort of feel that desire yeah and that energy in, yeah. in the book. Yeah. So you, like me, I mean, you can't imagine a world without books, can you? No, uh, I don't know. I think I would have suicided by now. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God you didn't. Uh, but uh, So there you are. I mean, that's what we feel briefly about the, the business of reading books and buying books. Uh, you're part of this grand scheme, so there you are, 50 books you can't put down. Go out and flog them, make people read them. We're going to do that, aren't we? We're certainly going to read everyone. Every single one. Promise. <laughs>